here she comes, the highway woman. She comes with music for your soul, and then moves along. just joining us this is Bridget London you're listening to the highway woman radio show and I'm really excited to uh, share some music with you all from my wonderful special guest mr. Jake Cox I just recently discovered Jake and as I said on Facebook he has some serious mojo so we can't wait to uh, play his music for you and talk with him so thanks for being with us Jake how you doing oh doing good how y'all doing we're doing good. Now, tell me, where am I talking to you at? Are you at home? I am. I'm uh, up here in the mountains of Virginia. So I'm um, outside of the town of Galax a little ways. Now, were you born and raised out there, Jake? I sure was. All right. And now, when did you start getting into music? We, you know, obviously in that area, a lot of people just grow up with it part of life. Was it like that for you? Yeah, yeah. Everybody around here always played a lot of old time and bluegrass and, of course, a lot of traditional country uh, a lot of people in my family over 100 years i guess have always played music too but uh i guess always around it and, and always loved music since i was a kid and it's a big part in that life especially being from the mountains here the way to pass the time i reckon too and just enjoy the day that's right so who did you like to listen to who were some of your do you think were kind of started influencing you and when did you realize, like, this is, you know, I'm going to start writing, this is what I want to do? When did that start um, to happen, or just kind of happen, evolve, you know? I always, you know, grew up, my mom, and my grandma, and all of them was always playing a lot of Hank Williams, and of course, Waylon, and yeah. uh, all the greats, so <laughs> just a big influence from all that, too, and and uh, in the old time, Tommy Jarrell was a old-time fiddle player, pretty close to the house, and I always loved his fiddle playing, so... I started writing probably, I, I was pretty young, I guess, probably 12, really getting into playing guitar mm-hmm. and uh, messing with the banjo a few years after, but went through a sort of a spell of playing a lot of actually, uh, I was into punk rock and a little bit of metal when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Funny thing is, my pap, my pap, Polly told me, he pulled me aside when I got my first electric guitar, he said, he said, now son, I'm going to tell you, he said, what you're doing is fine. You know, he's like, I ain't saying that it ain't. But he's like, one of these days you'll get back to your roots. Sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, you were probably like, no, no, I won't, you know, <laughs> rebelling, yeah, yeah, right? Okay. Rebelling, yeah, we all do it. Yeah, yep, oh, yep. yeah. One of them phases. <laughs> <laughs> I remember but saying. Even then, yeah. you know, I, even then I always listened to, I still always listen to country in old time, even when I, even when I was, uh playing the punk and, and doing the metal thing. You know, I always had the utmost respect for the roots and, and what started it all, of course. Right. Now, let's uh, let's feature a track. Let's play one of your originals. Why don't you pick one for us and, and we'll play it. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I guess uh, go ahead and spin that cruising on the left lane. That's, that's one I wrote a few months ago. Very cool. All right, folks, this is Jake Cox cruising in the left lane, and we'll be right back. Still on the back roads ever since the day I was born. I've been torn down, bored, and tail about half worn. And my friends all try to tell me, son, you might want to slow her down. I'll keep cruising in this left lane, take the smoke straight to the brain. I'm rolling on. I pulled on into Nashville, couldn't tell you where I'd be. I grabbed my old guitar out and I started to pick. Yeah. 
And that was Cruising in the Left Lane with my wonderful guest, Mr. Jake Cox. And we're uh, featuring his music on the show, getting to know Jake a little bit and find out a little bit about where his inspiration comes from. He's got such a, a unique sound. Who do you like, like when you're, who do you listen to now and then you, you think to yourself, oh, I got to go write a song? Who really gets you? Um, I, I guess now. I really listen to a lot of Billy Don Burns. Uh, his writing is just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing. <laughs> Billy Don's a, he's yeah. such an amazing man, and, and and the way he writes, you know, he don't hold nothing back, and I love that. You know, I feel that if you're gonna write, you know, write what you know and, and write the truth, you know, and, and so I've really been listening to a lot of his stuff lately. Yeah, he gets he's um, obviously I'm a huge Billy Don Burns fan. He's one of my dearest yeah. friends, <laughs> one of my closest friends and family, really. Uh, so, uh-huh. but, uh, he, um, even though he is that, you know, and we've been close as long as we have, he just came here and, and recorded on my record. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I can't believe Billy Don Burns is, re- you know, even though he's, I'm close to, yeah. to me, he's still Billy Don Burns. I, you know, his, oh, like yeah. what you're saying. And, and, uh, I love that. I love that, uh, so many folks like you all that, that are, you know, coming onto the scene with, with their own music are, are listening to him and, and really, uh, you know, carrying his music on that, that, that means so much, you know, to, to see that happening. And, uh, I, I think that's really cool, yeah. you know, no, yeah, his music's been such a help to me, you know, just to, to be able to relate to it, you know, so, you know, that's what it's all about to me is just to, to say something, write something that people can relate to, to help them out. That's right. That's right. And now being up where you are there in the mountains, do you get out on the road much? It's it's kind of hard to get out and play a little bit, isn't it? I took a little break. I, I left. I used to live in Nashville. Yeah. Um, for a few years, and uh, you know, I, I'm from the country, and and to be honest, the city was just a little too much for me at the time. Yeah. Um, I hear you. I, I stayed there. I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. I had a lot of fun, and uh, but I had to come back to the mountains for a while to, to get back in touch and background as you know uh so lately i had lately it's starting to pick back up but for about a year i just sort of stuck around here and worked on the farm and got everything back going around here uh it's start, like i said though it's picking up i'm about to head out actually going coming your way going to texas when you coming here uh, man when, well i'm leaving wednesday and oh, going man. through tennessee then we're going to meet up in, in Arkansas, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, with Billy Don and uh, spend a couple of days with him. And then I'll be heading down towards Texas and I'll be in Texas around July the 4th in a few days. Uh, if anybody's interested, they can go to my Facebook page at uh, Jay Cox or uh, yes. ReverbNation.com slash Jay Cox. And I've got my dates posted up there. Yes, yes, we'll be yes. With, uh, JB Beverly, we're going to be heading down that way. So. That is so cool. First of all, we do have a couple of stations here in Texas, obviously, that run the show. Now, do you know what some of the cities you're coming to? You guys should come out to Lukenbach, where I live, man. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm horrible with remembering things, and unless they're song lyrics, uh, <laughs> and, that, and that's about it. <laughs> all right, we'll tell, we'll tell everybody wor- <laughs> to check them out. Yeah, what, I'm the what's worst your website, honey? Do you have a website? through the Reverb Nation and the Facebook. I, I'm not much for technology either. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> like I said, I, I'm from the mountains. I, I'm sort of a, one, of, one of them hillbillies, I guess you could say. <laughs> hey, that's all right. We <laughs> like that. We like that. We're gonna, we'll tell people yeah. to go to Reverb Nation. And for our listeners here, what I'll do is I'll post, our, uh, I'll post the Texas stuff if I can on our page. So that'll be very cool. 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 Very cool. All right, let's play some more Jake Cox music. What should we play, Jake? Go ahead and uh, that can't run from the grave. That's a good yeah. one. To, I felt like I had a good message to it. All right. Jake Cox, folks, can't run from the grave. Hey, listen, folks, I've been running the mouth about all that I've done wrong. Say 
drinks some whiskey and he smokes too much He can barely make it through one song Hell, I don't know why the ex surprise and never claim to be no saint Just remember the ones who point their finger Got the rest pointing back their way They were right about my habits Had a few get the best of me My head's been twisted so far Been the big haze is all I can see But if you don't think I don't know my thoughts Brother, let me tell you where I've been I've been fighting this battle since the day I was born And I'm fighting it until the end I've traveled this world a time or two Same things I can't explain Like hell a good man Had to die fighting in a rich man's game I've done some things I ain't proud of But brother I'm here to say That you ain't perfect deep You can't run from me was Jake Cox, our special guest here on the Highway Woman radio show with Can't Run From the Grave. So, Jake, you're going to be coming out this way now. Have you got plans to release an album out here soon? Yeah, um, is when I get back from Texas uh, in the middle of July, I'm going to go ahead and get into the studio. Right now, uh, all the stuff that I've got lately, I've just been recording here at the house. i got a little handheld recorder and, and uh, not complaining by all means. Though, you know, it does what I need to do to to be able to share my music with people. And, right. But I am looking forward to getting back into the studio and uh, got some great pickers that are going to be coming in, backing me up on a few songs. I, I'm still going to keep it sort of a solo thing, but on a couple tracks, you know, I'll have some, some of my good buddies come in, do a little picking with me. You know what's really cool, Jake, I've noticed in the last few years, and it's kind of funny because it kind of was born out of necessity because of what happened in just with touring, nobody can afford to really take a big band out anymore. And even people who've had, quote, lots of hits are going solo acoustic. I mean, I see it all the time here with touring acts. And what's yeah. so cool about that is that the public kind of got used to seeing it more. And there's been like a, a kind of a huge surge for more acoustic music, you know. And I, oh, that, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I'm excited about that, you know. And uh, Yeah, me too. You know, you can you can play some of these loud honky tonks. Just you know, Billy Don does it with yeah. just oh, yeah. yourself and the guitar. Roger Allen Wade. I don't know if you're familiar with Roger, but he's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I actually, have uh, done a few shows with him over the years. Uh, oh, cool. We used to, 
did a few tours with him and Jesco White, and I had a band, Slim Chance, and the Camp Harley Playboys, with some awesome pictures out of Nashville, and, and uh, we did a few runs with Roger and, and uh, Jesco White and all of them. Very he's cool. A, he's a real good guy. I really enjoy Roger Allen Wade. He's a, he's a good man. That's right. I Me too. I love him. and That's so cool. Now, the Slim Chance of Can't Hardly Playboys, I've seen that name cross my path several times, so you guys were playing quite a bit when you were in Nashville. Yeah, yeah, we we sure were. Um, like I said, uh, the guys that were playing with me just were awesome. You know, they gave me the chance to to get up there in front of the band, and mm-hmm. you know, at the time, you know, I, I played pretty simple. You know, three chords and and just what I write. You know, and it just felt so good to to look around and, and know that those guys were up there with me. You know, just uh, supporting. You know, we were a band. It just felt good. But like I said, the city just getting a little rough on me, and yeah, you know. I, I can't really explain why I left, I guess, but it felt right at the time. That's right. And uh, I'm, the t- I'm the type of person when, you know, when, when I feel myself pulling somewhere, I got to go, you know, so. That's right. I took a little you. break for a while. I feel you. When were you there? I wonder if you were there the same time I was. We never met each other. Maybe so. I, I was there, I think, from uh, 09 to just a year ago, I think. Uh, I, had, I, had all, I left in 2008, so there you go. So I missed you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Got there a year after. Yeah, I I understand everything what you're saying and 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 feel that and I just I think you're really I think you're really special, Jake. Like I said, you got some serious Thank mojo. You. Uh, you have a, a I don't know. There's some your soul really really comes out in your music and uh, I don't know. I I think this might end up being a really a really big year for you and I'm excited that this kind of music is is getting more out into the general public more than yeah, it has me been. Too. You know? I, I tell people it, it's 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 got to come back around really I, get into discussions with some people some people don't want to talk about it but you know I really believe in my spirituality. Right. And uh I just feel that the music's coming back, you know, cuz your so people's souls they want to hear the truth, you know. Right. And I think it, people are tired of what they hear now. They want to get back to what they can relate to as a human being. Absolutely. And let's do some more of that relating, Jake. Let's play. Uh, why don't you talk to me a little bit about why you recorded Country Farm Blues? Yeah. Uh, I always loved Sun House you know, yeah. growing up. And uh, and I always loved the blues. Blues was a big influence on me. and uh, Got me a resonator to uh, get to her there about a year and a half ago. And, Started working with the slide, and I uh, figured I'd sing a song about being locked up. <laughs> <laughs> and that was one of, one of the best ones that I knew there from Sun House. So I figured I, hopefully I did it justice. Uh, I come up with a few, uh, an intro to it, you know, to make it sort of sound like somebody was breaking out of an old prison farm. You know, you can hear the sirens and the bloodhounds howling in the background. I thought that was pretty cool. And <laughs> hopefully people will enjoy it. That's right. Here's Country Farm Blues from my wonderful guest, Mr. Jake Cox. Thank you. 
And that was Country Farm Blues from Mr. Jake Cox, our special guest here on the Highway Woman radio show. I'm so glad to have you on the show and be able to uh, share so your glad music. To be on the show. And I'm, I'm with you with everything about what you're saying about people really needing stuff to come back, come back to their soul and, and get connected. And I think that this life is more needs to be about truth and, and, and integrity and, and music is such a great way to yeah, do that, uh, you know. As a society, we're being pushed so much. Uh, people are starting to turn towards the people who are standing out and ain't afraid to do what what they want to do, you know. And, and that's really helping out, pulling people back to what it, what I feel, what it needs to be. I agree. I agree a hundred percent. So, are you going to be traveling much later on? Now you got this Texas tour coming up. Are you going to be sticking close to home, and or you think you'll be doing a couple more runs coming out? I'm I'm uh, looking, especially once I get out of the studio, to go ahead and start hitting, mm-hmm. hitting it full time again, staying out a lot as much as I can. Um, got a few days lined up. Uh, I'm doing the Popcorn Sutton Festival in Maggie Valley, North Carolina, on August the second and the third. So I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, then after that, you know, I'm in the midst of booking gigs and looking for places to play. So that way I can just take it on the road, spread the truth. That's right. That's right, folks. And you can go to ReverbNation.com slash Jake Cox. J-A-K-E-C-O-X. All right, Jake Cox. And he's on Facebook. And can people get, uh, can people go somewhere and buy these, buy these tunes from you, Jake? I've got a few up on the Reverb Nation. Um, I was going to wait until I, I got a, into the studio. That way I could have people, uh, just a real good album to have in hand. Right. And, uh, you know, something that's, I still want to keep the, the raw sound because that's what I do. You know, I can't get too fancy. But yeah, I still want to have a good studio recording for people to have, you know, that way they can really enjoy it. Absolutely. I think that's great. And I want you to come back out on the show when you get your new album done. Would you do that? Yeah, I'd love to. Love to. All right. All right. Very cool. Well, let's see. How about we go? We play, Can we play one more song? We let's, sure can. Tell me a little bit about You Led Me to the Wrong, and we'll go out with that one. Ola Bell Reed song. She was from the mountains of North Carolina and uh, really known for her banjo playing and uh, was a great songwriter as well. And, uh, you know, from being from where I'm from, I grew up listening to a lot of her music. Uh, of course, never knew her. Felt like I did through her music, so that's another one I just felt like I should record and hopefully hopefully did it justice for. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Jake Cox, thank you so much for being on the show, Jake. Thank you so much for having me.
Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Bridget London, and this has been the Highway Woman Radio Show. Now there she goes. From music to your soul, and those of all.